Hi, I'm Dr. Arielle Foster, and today I'm going to talk about why it is impossible to square the hips in Warrior One or Warrior Two. So these two yoga poses, one of the most common cues you hear is the concept of squaring the hips or squaring the pelvis. The idea being that the pelvis faces the front of the mat perfectly or as close as possible to perfectly. And this is an erroneous concept in part because the hip sockets are, are shaped like small bowls and they're oriented outward and downward at an angle where the thigh, for most people, unless you have very abnormally shallow hip sockets, literally cannot go out that far. There are certainly variations in our bone structure that could allow some people to do this, but they're the extreme minority. And so right now, my pelvis is squared to the camera. And you know this because I've got this dowel here and because my entire body, my torso, is facing to the camera. So I'm going to show you Warrior 1, probably not Warrior 1, but Warrior 2 on my back. And I want you to see what happens in the concept of Warrior 2 because you know that the ground is square. You know that the floor that I'm sitting on, that I'm kneeling on right now, is quote unquote squared. So right now, pelvis is squared. My right leg is going into the position of warrior two for the front leg, and my left leg is more or less in the position of warrior two for the back leg. Now, already you can see that my pelvis really wants to turn. It wants to do this. It pretty much is on that angle. And if I were to bring the thigh all the way down to the floor, my pelvis is at an angle of about 45 degrees from being squared to the long edge of the mat, or the imaginary long edge of the mat. So I'm going to show that to you. I'm going to show that to you in a different angle in standing. So in standing, if I were to square my pelvis to the front edge of the yoga mat, we have to use our imaginations a little bit here, and then again take one leg out and one leg back, kind of in a warrior two stance, it's a bit awkward here. My knee wants to point forward quite substantially. So you can see that my pelvis is squared, but I'm wiggling my thigh out as far as I can take it, and that's about it. And the thigh is now approximately 40 degrees, maybe 35 degrees from being neutral with the wall, okay? So this is warrior two, and I'm gonna show you on the yoga mat. Currently, my front leg, front thigh is parallel to the side edge of the yoga mat, and my back leg is in the position, uh, my legs are in the position of warrior two. This is the angle of my pelvis. I'm turning, I'm turning, I'm turning, and at a certain point, I have to rotate from the spine. So warrior two, becomes a spinal twist. Warrior two is a spinal twist. Warrior one, let's look at it. So I'm gonna turn this way. And here's crescent lunge, what I call crescent lunge, back heel off the floor. My pelvis is squared. Here's warrior one, back heel on the floor. I'm aiming for depth in the front knee, square my shoulders to the front of the mat, creating a spinal rotation because look at the angle of my pelvis. The pelvis is again, um, not here, but a good 45 degrees or more open from being squared to the front of the mat. And it's not because I haven't done enough yoga in my 17 years of teaching yoga. It's not because I'm not flexible enough. It's because of my actual physical bone structure. So when I really, really, really try to square the pelvis to the front of that, I can get a lot closer, but now I feel that there's some stressor in my back knee and in this hip. So what's happening is I'm getting into the zone of ligaments rather than natural muscle stretch, so to speak. 
Um, so this is a really, really important concept and one that many yoga teachers uh, don't necessarily consider because we're coming into yoga, uh, yoga being a tradition that's been uh, taught from teacher to student, and we aren't in a habit of questioning the cues that we have been taught. So warrior one, warrior two are spinal twists. Now, you can still offer this cue of energetically facing your pelvis towards the front of the mat or your or the side of the mat. But even better, I would say, would be to cue from the shoulders, the shoulder girdle. So you will be in warrior one, for example, and square your shoulders to the front of the mat. Or warrior two, square your shoulders to the side of the mat. Let your legs be strong. It is literally impossible for 99% of people to come into a front knee angle of 90 degrees and to square or effort even in the direction of squaring of the pelvis. So I hope this was useful for you. There's an entire other conversation that could be had around whether we should be using the word square and these geometric uh, language cues in the practice of yoga because our bodies are not geometric. But um, I'm going to park that one to the side and leave that rich and interesting discussion for another day. But in the meanwhile, if you're a yoga teacher or if you're a yoga student and you say or hear the words square your pelvis to the front or side of the mat, know that it's really more about the facing of the shoulders and that those two poses are inherently spinal Thanks so much for watching. I'm Dr. Ariel Foster. You can find out more at yogaanatomyacademy.com.